Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Deidre from Our Upcycled Life and I do lots of thrifting, upcycling, repurposing, and DIY content. And today's video is right full of yard sale finds that I've upcycled. I have everything from vases to trays to teapots. So lots of inspiration. Let's get started. First project that we're going to do is this glass vase that I picked up for $1.99, but it was on the 75% off table. And this candle holder was also on the 75% off table for $1.49. I'm gonna use my Gorilla Super Glue to put these two pieces together, and I'm gonna set them aside and let them dry until tomorrow. This glue works really well for bonding glass to glass. I'll put a link down below in the description so you can check it out. I've let this sit to the next day. It's bonded really well. I'm gonna try a technique that I've done before but never on a vase. I'm gonna use a mirror effect spray paint. I find you get the best results of the mirror effect if you can have the background painted black. So I'm gonna try to paint on the inside of this vase black so when we put the mirror effect on the outside, it's gonna look like a vintage mirror. It proved to be very tricky to get that spray paint down into the bottom of the vase, but I think I did a pretty good job and I have enough down there that it's gonna give the desired effect. I have a solution of 50% vinegar and 50% water in my squirt bottle, and I'm just giving a light coat of the mirror effect over that whole vase, and then I'm squirting in that vinegar mixture and while well, it's still wet, and then I'm gonna take a paper towel and just dab away at it, and we're just gonna work away and do a couple layers of this and you'll see as we get going, it's gonna create a really beautiful vintage mirror effect. This mirror effect spray works beautiful on old vintage windows or any kind of glass that you wanna turn into a vintage looking mirror. Again, I'll put the link down below in the description if you've never bought any of this mirror effect spray. It's something you wanna try and put into your DIY to-do list. I did a picture frame that I picked up at the thrift store with this mirror effect spray paint right here. I love the way that it turned out also. So you can see why you wanna have the black underneath because if not, you just have the clear glass and you wouldn't get that vintage look. So here's the before vase and candlestick holder. And this is what I created. Absolutely love it. And because I use the Trem Clad spray paint black on the inside, it will withstand a little bit of water in it if you wanted to put some fresh flowers. If you have not tried this mirror effect spray paint yet, give it a try. The results are fantastic. If you've been following along, you saw that I picked up this little teapot at a yard sale. I can't even remember what I paid for it. It was cheap, 25 cents maybe. I love that it still has the sticker on it and I don't wanna change anything. I wanna keep it as is. I had some silver spoons from my grandmother that I'm gonna display in them. I just cleaned it up and it's gonna go in my cabinet. And how beautiful are these little spoons that I uh, have as a keepsake from my grandmother. Beautiful. Next project. We're gonna upcycle this ladle. I see these all the time in the thrift stores, yard sales, I always pick them up. And I've got this raw edged piece of wood that's going to complement that ladle perfectly. So I'm sealing up the wood with some polyacrylic sealer. And the ladle had a bit of a bend in it so it didn't sit flush against the wood. I put it in my vise so I could straighten it out. And I had these little fencing hooks that I picked up at my hardware store that I'm just gonna nail that ladle right into this piece of wood. This is an absolute simple DIY, but it turns out so beautiful. Put a little votive in the ladle and we've created a beautiful piece of home decor. If you've got a collection of two or three ladles, you could line them all up along a piece of wood. So many great ideas that you can do with this. Next upcycle, we are going to work on this wooden tray. I picked it up at a yard sale. I don't think I paid over a dollar for it. It's really in good shape, but I want to give it more of maybe a farmhouse country look. Painting it with my black homemade chalk paint. And I'm going to give it a couple coats. And then once it was completely dry, I'm going to take my scraper and just scrape away at that black paint and expose that wood underneath. I think this is actually going to turn out more like a country kitchen primitive look. 
I love using the scraper to create distressed chippy wood. It's not messy. You don't have to pull out your hand sander or your palm sander. And you can see how you can get a really great look of distressed wood just by scraping away some of that paint. It's also helped that that tray had a coat of varnish on it too. So the paint, it created a little bit of a resist so the paint didn't stick as well for when we scraped it off. I found this peel and stick shelf liner at the dollar store. I love the black floral pattern on it. I'm just gonna cut it down to size and then just stick it in the bottom of that tray. And I think it looked beautiful. I kind of wondered whether I should maybe have painted it white on top of the black also, but I might change it later. What do you think? I also love using the shelf liner because when you get tired of it, you can just peel it off and upcycle it again. So I found this at a yard sale, picked it up. I wasn't sure if it was a cookie cutter or not. I asked you in my yard sale video if you had any ideas and you guys came through. It's a cookie cutter for a bridge party and it's each of the suits on the playing cards. Was definitely a fun find. I love finding rolling pins. Always pick them up. They look beautiful in baskets and you can just even just paint the handles and distress them a little bit and they look beautiful in a kitchen. But I'm gonna put a graphic on this one. I'm gonna give it a light sanding and clean it all up. I'm gonna tape off the handles. I've got this really pretty red I'm gonna cut paint the handles with. I'm gonna put on two coats and then I'm going to put on a graphic using my polyacrylic transfer method. I love using this method on raw wood. If you haven't seen my video where I upcycled a wooden crate, I also did the same technique on that too and I love the way that that turned out. I've printed off my graphics on my LaserJet printer, making sure to reverse the text, and we're going to apply it onto that rolling pin with my water-based polyurethane. This works the same as a polyacrylic. Both work really well. I like using this method on raw wood. It blends in better than using the Mod Podge. If you use the Mod Podge, you get a little bit of an outline and it looks a little bit cloudy, and using this on the raw wood, you don't get that. When you're using the Mod Podge on painted wood, it blends in more. I'm just gonna place it exactly where I want it, rub out any bubbles and wrinkles. I've set this aside, let it dry for a few hours, and then I'm just rubbing off the paper. Now this isn't a perfect transfer. Sometimes it rubs off here and there, but I love the rustic look of it. And I think it turned out perfect, ready to display in my kitchen. So I hope you've enjoyed today's upcycles and you've got some inspiration for some of your own projects. Let me know down in the comments which one's your favorite. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And if you love this video, I'm sure you'll love either of these two. Take care.